here we are at the front of the studio by the whiteboard. I'm going to take you through and show you the various parts of the studio and where stuff is stored. So you have a, you can have a locker here. We'll get you assigned it at the start of the quarter um, or in the in the first week. You can store your stuff there, your tools um, uh, when you're not when you're not doing class. Tools, bucket, uh, change of clothes can go in these lockers. Please put your name here um, on the locker, name, class, whether you're in 201, which is the wheel class, or 202, which is the hand building. Then uh, your, your quarter and year is not always. <laughs> so pick your quarter and year. You can get a key. We can check you out a key. So talk to Rachel if you want that. Front of the room, it has work tables. Over here on the side, we have our clay and slurry and bone dry bucket. So the blue is porcelain. Porcelain clay goes in blue. We've got the clay bucket with wet clay that you're pulling out of, the clay slurry, which is your water, your throwing water, and the bone dry, which is where stuff that got totally dry and then broke goes. The white buckets are for the stoneware clay, the clay you're going to mostly be starting with on the first day. So we've got our water bucket. Um, when you're filling up your slurry bucket, please use the scooper. Um, just keep things clean. No tools in the slurry bucket bone dry and then we will be moving the clay buckets around the studio we're trying to allow for three foot social distancing which also explains why the wedging tables are kind of scattered around the studio so you're going to wedge up your clay on one of these six wedging tables now we come up to the wheels uh instructor wheel here so these are our student wheels there are 16 and i don't think there are 16 of you um, but i will need to have you each choose a wheel and then stay with that wheel your work that'll be your assigned wheel for the quarter your work can go on these shelves and what we'll do is we'll have you grab one of the there'll be tape on all of these spots and you'll be able to put your name on the tape and reserve half of a shelf for you uh, down here in so we're we're right by the front door or the, the hallway door right down here we have throwing buckets you'll get your throwing bucket from there we have bats we which you'll use later in the quarter sorry um, we have towels here so you can keep a towel on your lap to keep you clean and this sink is not where you wash uh, dirty tools and stuff like that we have four sinks in the main studio and the large ones over here will have standing water in them so we put this thing in here and that prevents it from draining uh, and that way we're going to have standing water here this is where you wash off tools um, that are super gloppy clay filled um, towels and hands after you've washed here you can wash with soap in the other sink this uh, this particular sink is for stoneware so is this next one. This one's for stoneware, no soap in these two. And if you're throwing with porcelain, you notice the sign. This is only for porcelain. We don't want our clays to mix. A couple other spots you need to be aware of in the studio. I'm gonna give you a throwing kit this quarter and you're gonna use it. <laughs> um, but there are backup, uh, some backup tools, a couple of nice fancy ribs um, that don't leave the studio. They aren't yours, they're for sharing. Some fancier uh, throwing tools that we'll talk about later in the quarter. And then at the bottom here, we have plastic bags. Look how pretty, nice and folded. Those will be how we wrap up our work at the end of the, or end of the day, excuse me. Um, there are other tools here that you might use later in the quarter or for decorating. One thing I forgot to tell you, so I'm gonna try to not make you motion sick as I come back through here, underneath these wedging tables we haven't moved them all back yet but underneath the wedging tables are wear boards that's what you put your work on when you're at the end of the day so you'll throw your pot put it on a board and actually to make sure it doesn't stick to the board we usually have you put it on a piece of uh, just paper <coughs> this is telephone book paper the texture which just works pretty well for us at the end of the day if you are not finished as in you've thrown your work and you are ready to save it to trim the next time you're going to bring it so this back here by the teacher station by the front whiteboard this room is our damp room we keep damp as i open this up you're going to hear that the humidifier is running if you come in and the lights off the light switch is 
right here. And then you put your work on these shelves, make sure the door stays closed. We keep the door closed to keep that space damp. The next time you come in, you're going to trim that. You can watch videos on how to do that. And then when you are done with your work, your finished work that hasn't been fired yet, whether it's wet or dry, if you're totally finished trimming, you're going to come put it on a greenware cart. Greenware means it hasn't been fired. And that's going to be bisque fired. This cart and the other one that is labeled greenware go to get fired. Um, and you'll be involved in that process. But be careful, these carts are on wheels and sometimes we have other carts here. Don't put your work on a glazed cart because it will get fired incorrectly or I'll yell at you about it.